Welcome to Myrtle Beach Eats and Beyond, the show where a local foodie, that's me, attempts to parlay a passion for delicious eats into a useful video guide for other locals and tourists attempting to answer the age-old question, where should we eat in Myrtle Beach? Don't worry, I've got you covered. With me on this journey are my three progeny, that's them, who also love to experience new eating emporiums, raising them up right. We'll also be exploring fun, family-friendly activities and showing you the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts, the lowdowns and hoedowns of where to shop, play, stop, and stay. If you're lucky, I might even cook for you. And if that's not enough to convince you to subscribe, just know that once a week, I am completely wrecking my diet to bring you this content. Now, I'm not saying that you should feel guilty about that in any way, but I'm just saying you should subscribe. Hello friends, welcome to our table. I don't know if the content of our channel is obvious enough by now, but suffice it to say that my children and I, we kind of dig food. Good food, that is. I grew up not particularly adventurous about my daily cuisine. As New Englanders, our family palate was pretty bland and harkened back to our equally bland European ancestry. There was a lot of boiled ham, potatoes and carrots, hot dogs and baked beans, meatloaf, and other ground beef dishes. My mother didn't like seafood, so she never cooked any, which meant I didn't even try salmon for the first time until I was 22. The only ethnic cuisine I had was tacos, egg rolls, and spaghetti. Yes, really living on the edge, I know. Since becoming an adult, I've taught myself how to cook and learned that many of the foods I disliked as a child were never actually that bad. They just weren't prepared well, nor properly seasoned to bring out their natural exquisite taste. Except cilantro. That stuff still tastes like lemon dish soap, and my DNA will never ever let me forget it. To this day, I'm still learning, tasting, testing, and experimenting. I'm so grateful that my children inherited my curious taste buds over their father's rigid diet of chips and Burger King cheeseburgers, because this journey with them by my side has been so much fun. Watching other foodie YouTubers has ignited an interest in cuisines outside our normal comfort zone, and lately, we've been exploring foods in the Asian realm. Two little duckies. We recently tried mushroom masala, delicious. Vegetable tiki masala, a little spicy. We cooled it down with some sour cream mochi, and tonkatsu ramen. Many years before my ill-fated marriage, I dated an Indian man who was in the U.S. on a working visa. He, too, ate a very restricted diet consisting of only fish sandwiches from Burger King and the Indian rice he cooked at home. Yes, I've been in two relationships with sufferers of ARFID, but there was one time he took me to the Indian market in a nearby city. He bought me a pastry filled with spicy vegetables that took me about a half an hour to finish. But I wish I knew what it was called so I could have another crack at a taste test with my older, more mature taste buds. This recent yearning for more Asian food in our life led me to my next most obvious question. Are there any Asian markets in Myrtle Beach? Sadly, my search attempts did not turn up very favorable results and I found myself disheartened almost immediately. Following unsatisfactory searching, we did manage to satiate our taste buds with the international aisle at the grocery store and when we went to check out World Market for the first time. We were delighted to find so many new and interesting snacks and noodles we'd never seen before. Recently, on the way to World Market to grab more Stroop waffles, I turned down a different road to approach from a more southern direction than I normally do. Upon this happy accident, instantaneously, my son and I both spotted and cried out, Asian Mart? We immediately swooped in for a closer look, knowing this was going to be our next stop as soon as we finished with World Market. To my delight and surprise, I learned that Asian Mart was also the location of Sweet Ice, a rolled ice cream destination I had opened in my list of places to visit in the future, but hadn't yet gotten to. I'd been so focused on the ice cream portion of the website, I never scrolled down to see that they are actually located inside Asian Mart at 1943B Mr. Joe White Ave in Myrtle Beach. Finishing up at the first stop, we headed to our next and found a cute little shop full of fresh produce, duck eggs, and so many Asian ingredients, snacks, and noodles, it could make your head spin. 
Having fallen in love with boba tea on our visit to Good Day Cafe and having not yet tried to make our own boba yet, I was particularly excited to find that Asian Mart has boba available for purchase from the freezer section. And of course, while we were there, we had to get some boba tea. The rolled ice cream menu was paused for the season during our visit, but boba was still available, and we were impressed by the extensive menu selection. Three of us all chose chocolate, though. We're kind of predictable, maybe, but I've never had a chocolate boba tea, and I was curious. The outlier among us got a strawberry, from which I did steal a sip, and of course repaid with a chocolate sip from my own boba, but the strawberry was really delicious, and I imagine I will get that one on our next visit. That's really good. Right? That is nice. Mmm. I got a piece of the boba on my first sip. Nice. Oh my god, that is good. I got two bubbles on my first sip. It's okay. literally so chocolatey. Is it good? Tastes like chocolate milk. I dig it. Now that we have found Asian Mart, I can assemble the list of ingredients needed to make the dishes I have been meaning to tackle because finally, I know exactly where I can find every single ingredient. If you have ever been to Asian Mart, drop a comment and tell us your favorite thing to get there. And if you've ever had the rolled ice cream at Sweet Ice, please tell us which flavor we should try this summer. Thanks for watching everyone. If this content is something you enjoy, we'd love your help to grow our little channel. By liking this video, leaving a comment below, and subscribing to the channel, it really helps us out, and it's completely free to you. With your help, YouTube will be able to recommend this content to more foodie folks so we can all share the love of good eats. See you again soon!